math friends, this is Mr. Bradley and in this video I'm going to cover converting units in the customary system and I'm also going to talk about adding and subtracting units in the customary system like these three examples here. So converting units looks like this. 42 inches is how many feet or 5,500 pounds is how many tons, six and a quarter pounds is how many ounces and so on. So we're changing the units from inches to feet or from pounds to tons. The first question when you're doing any of these is to decide whether you're going to multiply or divide because you're either going to multiply or you're going to divide. And you figure that out by first figuring out are you moving from a smaller unit to a bigger unit or a bigger unit from a small to a smaller unit. And let me show you what I mean. So here in the first example I have 42 inches is how many feet. Now you have to look at just the two units first, so inches and feet. Inches is smaller than feet, so I'm going from a small to a bigger unit. So if I look up here, the first thing, and we use our hand gestures in class, I have these hands here. So when you're converting from a smaller unit, and you can make like the small hands symbol, over to a bigger unit, this looks like a division sign where your head is the top dot and your belly button is the bottom dot. So when you're converting from a small unit to a big unit, like in the picture, you're going to divide. So if I go back down here to my example, I'm going from a small unit to a big unit, and I can make those hand gestures, small unit to a big unit. So I'm going to divide. I'm going to do 42 divided by some number. Now that number is how many inches are in a feet, so uh, in a foot rather. So if I go up here, I can find it right here. There's 12 inches in one foot, so I'm going to divide by 12. Now I've been trying to get you guys when, to, to see when you're dividing by a whole number. I mean you can always of course, I can grab my 42 divided by 12 throw it in a division box and see how many times it goes in. But before you do that, you can sometimes make your life easier if you have two whole numbers and you put the top number in the top of a fraction and the bottom number in the bottom. So this is still 42 divided by 12, but now it's written as a fraction. Now the reason that's helpful is because you can reduce that number. For example, 42 and 12 are both divisible by 2. 42 divided by 2 is 21 and 12 divided by 2 is 6. Uh, 21 and 6 are also, you could divide those now, and now I could do 21 divided by 6, but actually I can still reduce that even further. They're both divisible by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now 7 and 2 don't have any common factors, so now I'm going to divide 7 divided by 2. 2 goes into 7 three times, that's 6. And when you subtract, you get 1, so the remainder is 1 half, so it's 3 and a half feet. 42 inches is three and a half feet. Now, if you didn't, let's say you didn't write it like a fraction, you just did 42 divided by 12, you would have realized 42 goes into, or 12 goes into 42 three times for 36, and when you subtract, you get six. So it's 12 and Six or three and six twelfths rather, and you'll notice that six twelfths reduces to a half, so it's still three and a half. But you have to divide by twelve as opposed to dividing by two. And although the, on this problem it might be just as easy to divide by twelve, you'll find on some that it's much easier if you reduce it first. So I highly recommend doing this when you're dividing. Okay, now we're going to look at a couple of other examples. First. That was what you do when you do go from a smaller unit to a bigger unit you divide. What if you're going the other way? You're converting from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. So here I have the hand gestures again. You're going from a big unit. My hands are out wide. And then I'm going to a smaller unit. And I cross my hands going to the small unit. So I'm multiplying. When you go from a bigger unit to a small unit, you're going to multiply. So let's look at some of these examples. Here in example B, I have 5,500 pounds, and I'm going to tons. Now, pounds are smaller than tons, so I'm going from a small unit to a big unit. So that's actually I'm going to divide. So I'll come back to that one. 
on this next example C, I'm going from pounds to ounces. Now, pounds are bigger than ounces, so this is big to small. So here I am going the other way, going from a big unit, pounds, to a smaller unit, ounces. So if you make those hand gestures big to small, you'll see that you're multiplying. I need to multiply 6 and 1 quarter times a certain number. Now, for that number is going to be the number for ounces and pounds. Now, ounces are smaller, so it's how many ounces are in a pound. If I go up here, you'll see over in the weight category, 16 ounces are in a pound. So I'm going to multiply by 16. Now, some people are like, well, what do I do now? Well, this is just a multiplication of fractions problem. Once, I mean, one, the only difference here is that you need to figure out, do I multiply or divide first? And then what is that number that I'm multiplying or dividing by? The, other than that, once you have those two things done, now you just follow your steps for multiplying or dividing fractions. So here I'd have to turn the first number into a mixed number. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25, so this is 25 fourths, times 16 I put over 1. Now I'm multiplying, so I don't have to keep change change. So I'm going to see if I can reduce. 4 and 6 are both divisible by 4. That's 1 and 4. And so now I have 25 times 4, that's 100, over 1 times 1, that's 1. So it's 100 over 1, so the answer is 100 ounces. 6 and a quarter pounds is 100 ounces. Let's look at some other examples down here. I'm going to, let's go, actually, let's do the tons one that I skipped before. So here in example B, I'm going from 5,500 pounds to tons. Again, it's small to big. So you make the little hands for small and then the big arms for big, and you'll notice you're a division sign. So I'm going to divide, and it's 5,500 divided by how many pounds are in a ton. A lot of people remember this number. It's 2,000. You'll see it up here. It's 2,000. So I'm going to divide by 2,000. Now, again, especially when you're working with tons, what I was telling you before about I'm dividing two whole numbers, so before I actually do any division, why don't I write it as a fraction? First number over the second number. Let's see if I can reduce. And you'll see that they both end in two zeros, so I could divide by 100 by crossing off two zeros, top and bottom. Now it's 55 over 20. Well, that's much easier to divide by already. And in fact, I could divide both 55 and 20 by 5, that's 11 and 4. So now I'm dividing 11 by 4. That's so simple that I could actually do it in my head. 4 goes into 11 three times to make, um, oh, not three times, <laughs> two times to make 8. So 4 goes into 11 twice, that's 8. And then 9, 10, 11 is 3 fourths left over. 2 and 3 fourths. So 5,500 pounds is 2 and 3 fourths of a pound. So you can see how when the numbers are big, it's definitely going to be beneficial to you, because otherwise you're going to have to do 5,500 divided by 2,000. And then it gets a little crazier from there. I'm going to skip ahead to, um, actually, I'll tell you what. Here are three problems. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and I will do the problems. And then I'll unpause the video, and so the answers will just appear like magic. What I suggest you do is you try these three on your own, boom, 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 try them on your own, and then unpause the video and see if you have them correct. I'll give you one more second to pause it. Okay, now, here's the answers to those three. You have 64 for D, you have 23 for E, and two-thirds for F. Just to quickly point out, D was a little bit of a trick because you were moving from pints to cups to fluid ounces. So you had to kind of multiply it twice. To move it, some people, you might have um, 32 there. But you, that's if I had cups to fluid ounces. But if you look at the, up at the, uh, the top, you're going, there's, in, in a pint, there's two cups, and then for every cup, there's eight fluid ounces. So there's a total of 16 fluid ounces in a pint. That one was a little tricky. The other two weren't as tricky. Uh, e was um, you were multiplying, 
and the fours actually cancel, so it gives you just 23. And then on F, you had 8 divided by 12, and there I wrote it as a fraction, and this time when I reduced, I got a fraction answer. It's actually two-thirds of a foot. So hopefully it worked out for you. The only other thing on this video is adding and subtracting units, which is a little easier. Uh, it doesn't require mu as much thinking, but there is a little bit of a step. The first thing that you have to do, and here I have 17 gallons and 3 quarts plus 14 gallons and 3 quarts. Just add up your quarts first. So 3 quarts and 3 quarts is 6 quarts. And then 17 and 14, 7 plus 4 is 11, carry the 1. 1, 1, and 1 is 3, so that's 31 gallons and 6 quarts. Now, the last thing you have to do is check the smaller unit to see, is this more than the other, more than one of the other unit, for example. 6 quarts, is that more than a gallon? So if I look over here, 4 quarts is a gallon, so 6 quarts is actually a gallon and 2 quarts. So what I'll do is I'll add the extra gallon to the 31, and I'll take away the 4 gallons, I wrote 2, I'm ahead of myself. I'm going to take away four gallons from the or four quarts from the quarts because I gave it as a gallon. So I get two quarts and then 32 gallons. So that last step is the only real tricky part where you have to decide is that smaller unit more than um, one gallon. In number two, I'm subtracting. So I'm going to start by subtracting my feet. I have eight, uh, eight yards and one foot minus two yards and two feet. If I go to subtract one minus two, I can't do that. So I have to borrow from the yards. So I'm going to cross out the 8 and make it into a 7. Now here's the tricky part. When you borrow a yard and you give it to feet, you don't just put 1 in front of the, the, the 1 and make it 11. That's not true. If you look up here, there's 3 feet in a yard. So when you borrow a yard, you're actually borrowing 3 feet. So I'm going to add 3 to this 1 and make it into 4. Now I can take away 2 and get 2 feet. And then 7 minus 2 is 5 yards. So that was a little tricky because I had to borrow. And when you borrow, you have to look to see how much you're borrowing. It might not, you know, in none of these cases you're borrowing 10. You're, you're borrowing 3 or, or 12 or something along those lines. And then the last example I have here, I have another addition problem. So I'll add my ounces. Uh, four, 14 and 11 is 25 ounces. And then 5 pounds and 7 pounds is 12 pounds. And that last step is to look and see, is the smaller unit more than one of the bigger units? So is 25 ounces more than one pound? And if I look up here, 16 ounces is a pound. So yeah, it's more than 16 ounces. It's an extra pound. So I'm going to plus one pound to make it 13 pounds. And then because I took 16 ounces away, I'm going to take them away from 25. 25 minus 16 is 9. So the final answer is 13 pounds and 9 ounces. So some tricky stuff, some not. You don't have to memorize this stuff. If you, can know, if you know how to use it, that's all that matters. So hope this helped you out, and good luck there in class. I'll see you out there.